Since the beginning of time, man has stared at the stars and wondered what was out there in this big, big blue ball of earth keeps turning and turning round and round man has discovered a lot of things but there's a lot of things that man doesn't know man has wandered this world man has made fire man has changed history for the good man has learned how to adapt how to survive man walked across this great country and explored from one ocean to the next and did it all through perseverance man has discovered some amazing things Man has also shown that things are just not the way they used to be. In this day and age, man sometimes wishes they could still be there. Some of the most beautiful things have been made to setting back. And then there was smoke, and where there's smoke, there is fire. And what came next was the demise of man. Money. Everybody was money hungry. Everybody wants more. And now that they have more, what do they do? They work themselves into the ground going in the grindstone of every day, fighting the crowds of people to go to work, forgetting about the family life they once had, how things used to be, just like ants running back and forth. Everything is being explored and everything is coming in from all the other countries. We no longer make what we have here it is a sad, sad thing that we depend on other countries as much as we do. Man just wants to go out and maybe enjoy themselves. They just want to spend their money, do their shopping, wandering aimlessly, wanting to spend the money never wanting really just to sit down and relax and take time just watch people go by you know there's something to be said for that just to relax but we don't do that anymore you can jump on a bus you can travel places, hop on a plane. You can fly anywhere in the world nowadays, wherever you want to go. All it takes is a ticket. Or you can jump into your car and go anywhere you want to go. All you need is gas money. Once again, it's money that is moving the world and our people really thinking about what is truly important the family time to sit down around the table and have a meal with your family to go to that amusement park to jump on the rides have fun Eat cotton candy and caramel apples. Go for a train ride. You have the kids playing on the playgrounds. What a beautiful thing. Playing basketball, playing on the swing, skateboarding. And all those things. 
And then there was smoke again. And once again, where there's smoke, there's fire. And now the world is under quarantine. What has happened? What is going on? Now the grocery store shelves are empty. You can't find food. Everything is gone. The streets are empty. The store shelves are empty. You can't even get the basic necessities you're looking for that everybody so desired. What's amazing, if you still had the luxury of having your job, you now work at home. You no longer go to the office. And school kids are not at school anymore. They don't get to stare at the blackboard and try to figure out what to do next. They just don't do that. The schools are closed. They're at home with their parents and their parents are teaching them and they're on their computers trying to figure out what to do next, needing help, maybe not getting it because the parents don't understand. And hopefully, if they're the lucky ones, they're being taught more than the basic school needs, how to survive, how to cook, how to clean, how to do all those things that you need to survive in this world because the swing sets and playgrounds are still empty, like a ghost town. They swing empty. We all wish we could turn back time, but you just can't turn back time, now can you? You really just wish you could go back to having the family meal with all the family members sitting around the table. just enjoying the fellowship of one another and maybe actually someday we get back to the everyday grind if there were the real normal ever comes back we just don't know all the things we used to do everything has changed on Friday night you would just like to go out and have a drink with all your co-workers go across the street get a haircut wouldn't that be nice? But everything has changed. That drink just sits there. Maybe it's just taking a look at nature, clearing your soul, taking it in, thinking what it's like. Maybe you're tired of the city life. Maybe the woods is sounding better and safer for you and your family. Or maybe it's just the road trip down the windy road. It just keeps winding along and you just wish you were on it. Just trying to survive. And now the scientists are trying to come up with a cure they're working very hard. Let's just hope that they can do it. Let's just hope that we learn from the past history. History has a tendency to repeat itself. Let's just hope that it doesn't. Money has become the root of all evil. Always has been, always will be. The question is, at what cost? They want to open everything up. They want to just keep things going. But what is the eventual cost? How many lives have to be lost? How many people have to die to fulfill the engine that turns? How many people will it really take till everybody finally says enough is enough.
So to turn back time and to stop the death. So to turn back time to a different time will not happen. Is there something more, the calm before the storm, before the next big thing that's coming? I do believe so. And that's why everybody should be ready. Because we all live in this big, big blue planet. And it keeps turning no matter what or with us or without us and it just keeps going and going and going 